Salam, I'm Sora and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to show you the most beautiful places in Iran and today I'm visiting Iran Historical Car Museum which has gathered unique classic cars and super sports cars. So if you're a huge fan, keep watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's see what this museum has for us. The Iran Historical Car Museum has gathered a collection of the best and in some cases the most unique automobiles in the car industry in order to preserve them and explain the history of the entrance of cars into Iran by displaying them. Some of the museum automobiles are rare in the car industry, such as the gold-plated Pierce Arrow Limousine, the world's only Panther Laser car produced in the world, and the only joint work of the three giant car companies of Mercedes, Porsche, and Volkswagen. Before the invention of the automobile, carriages were often used in Europe to transport kings and nobles. Royal carriages, which were a unique, luxurious and ceremonial version of carriages, were used in king's coronation ceremonies and weddings. As a symbol of king's glory and greatness, royal carriages were still used in ceremonies after the invention of the automobile. The Nasser Din Shah's carriage is the most important and oldest carriage in Iran. After the death of Nasser Din Shah, the carriage was still used in official royal ceremonies. The Jaguar Mark 9 is a luxury four-door sedan manufactured by Jaguar cars in the UK from late 1958 to 1961. Inside the cabin of this car, like most English cars of that time, a combination of high-quality wood and leather was used. There were eight small and large lamps in the front of the car which added to the beauty of it, and at the same time, it made driving easier at night. The Panther Laser was a roadster sports car, only one of which was produced by the British company Panther West Winds in 1974. The Panther Laser has a special and unusual design. It has a three abreast passenger compartment, a design that is very rare among car designers. The doors of the car open upwards and the engine is located in the front of the car and interestingly, it is possible to have access to the engine from inside the car. The windshield is designed as a single piece and the car has no side windows. The Jensen Interceptor was a GT-class car manufactured between 1966 and 1976 by Jensen Motors in England. The sedan version of this model, which was the main and best-selling style of the car, was actually a two-door hatchback. Its distinguishing feature was a large curved window that also served as a tailgate. The Pierce Arrow Model A was a seven-seater limousine and the largest and most powerful Pierce Arrow car among the company's models produced in the 1930s. Due to the very large size of its engine, the car had a very long hood. The Pierce Arrow Model A displayed in the museum was ordered in 1930 by Colonel Reza Qoli Amir Khosrabi, the head of the Pahlavi Bank and the exclusive importer of Pierce Arrow cars during the first Pahlavi era. The price of this car, which was financed by the Pahlavi Bank's treasury, was $30,000. The name Bullnose was given to the car because of the shape of its radiator, which looked like a bull's nose. The Morris Oxford Bullnose was able to compete with the Ford Model T at the time for its high quality and a very reasonable price. The British people just wanted a cheap means of transportation and Morris made it possible for them. The MG T-Type was a series of popular open two-seater or roadster sports car produced from 1936 to 1955 by MG in the United Kingdom. The series included the TA, TB, TC, TD, and TF models. 
In addition to the United Kingdom, the car had considerable sales number in some other countries of the world, especially Australia and South Africa. But the most important TC market outside the United Kingdom was the United States. The 190 SL was a luxury two-door roadster manufactured by Mercedes-Benz from 1955 to 1963. The car was comfortable and enjoyable to drive long distances thanks to its independent suspension. The car whose engine was made by General Motors was offered in the United States with a custom body made in Italy. The car had a 3-speed automatic transmission and at the time of production possessed the most complete set of facilities such as automatic air conditioning, automatic headlamp controls with twilight sensor, an electric sunroof, central locking, cruise control, a burglar alarm, advanced audio system, and 24 karat gold-plated trim inside the cabin. Each car had a unique license plate with the owner's name written on it. Mercedes-Benz was bankrupt and ruined factory after the end of World War I, but the owners of the company decided to restart it and manufacture cars again. After reviewing all the previous models that were built before the war, the automaker decided to invest in the 170 model, whose production and sale were affordable with the economic conditions of the company and those of the German society at the time. At the beginning, Mercedes-Benz produced only the four-door sedan type of the 300 model, but a little while later it started to produce the two-door type which was offered with a 50% price increase among luxury cars of its time. The luxury car was very special and the manufacturer was able to customize many features on it including the installation of a sound recording system, a telephone, and even sirens. The Lincoln Continental is the most iconic car produced by Lincoln, a division of the American automaker Ford Motor Company. This very luxurious and well-equipped car has always served as an outstanding model throughout its long history. It was considered as the world's longest mass-produced car, surpassed only by some Mercedes-Benz and Rolls-Royce Phantom limousines. One distinguishing feature of this car is its 7-meter long body making it the longest vehicle in the Museum of Classic Cars. The drink service inside it is custom made of crystal and silver. Another interesting feature of this car is its pneumatic lights. These lights are located inside a chamber and when needed a lid rises and the lights appear. This car was one of the fastest cars of its time in the United States, winning many national associations for stock car auto racing races. The automobile displayed here in the museum was painted in custom color. The dashboard and steering wheel of this car are gilded. An electronic clock, standard two-speed windshield wipers, as well as electronic windows and seats were the equipment added to the car. The luxury car exhibited in the museum was a gift from Mohammad Reza Pahlavi to his second wife Soraya Esfandiari. It is a customized car equipped with a refrigerator, air conditioning system and a mini gramophone inside the dashboard. The Germans built 500k during World War II as a high-speed military courier. Now only two or three have remained. The 500K is one of the rarest and most valuable classic cars in Iran. There are probably only one or a few units of this car left today. And it is safe to say that the model in Iran is the healthiest 500K in the world. 
The Mercedes-Benz 600 was a large luxury car intended to show the pinnacle of engineering in the automotive industry and when it was introduced to the automotive world in September 1963, it had few competitors such as Rolls-Royce and Cadillac and Lincoln limousines. The 600 model had many features, from the windows, seats and sunroof to the car doors and trunk were all automatically opened and closed by hydraulic system. Undoubtedly, among all the car models produced by Porsche, the Porsche 911 has a special place. One can say that the Porsche 911 has somehow formed a foundation and an identity for the Porsche brand. During the presence of the model in the market for more than 50 years, various versions and generations of it have been offered. The fastest sports car in Germany at the time of its introduction, the Porsche 934 was actually one of the first sports cars in which Porsche installed a turbocharged engine. The standard color of this car was metallic color that could be replaced with any other color when ordering. The size of the tires were standard but other sizes could be also ordered. The purpose of designing this model was to produce a high-performance ultra-light car and in a way upgrade the world's automotive industry. This car was known as one of the most expensive cars in the world at that time of its production, and many famous people such as top politicians and movie stars bought it. The Ferrari 500 Superfast was a racing car made by Ferrari between 1964 and 1966. It was Ferrari's ideal warrior in car racing fields. Due to its low production, which was only two vehicles per month, the customers who wanted to buy this unique automobile were special people who could afford to pay a very high price for it, which at that time was equal to the price of two Rolls Royce cars. The body of this model of Ferrari was completely handmade and created by forming metal sheets and a wooden mold. The name Ghibli dates back to a time when Maserati was in the position of Arab investors. Due to its high speed, the car was compared to the hot, dry southwestern wind of the Libyan desert called Ghibli in Libyan Arabic. Its speed made it the Maserati's fastest road car at the time. Also, the headlights were hidden and came out of their compartments when turned on. This car was built by the order of Willy Brandt, the then Chancellor of West Germany. Three famous automakers, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche and Volkswagen, cooperated to build the automobile in 1972. The logos of the three car companies appear on the steering wheel as well as the body to show the company's cooperation in making this unique car. MPV Tehran is a custom car of which only one unit has ever been made, which was a gift for the Crown Prince Reza Pahlavi, the son of Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the last Shah of Iran. The first Lamborghini Mirio was introduced to the world in the spring of 1966, and it was clear from the outset that the final product would be a special car. Many consider it as the world's first real super sport car as Lamborghini had designed the Miria with the purpose of building the world's fastest street car. Soon after being unveiled, the car became popular with music stars, professional drivers and wealthy young people. 